she's a beauty, mate. Wow, how cool is that? Whoa! <laughs> yeah! That's the coolest thing I've ever found. Right, welcome back to yet another exciting video. In today's video, we will be finding out do monolithic bullets damage your steel targets? I've heard this rumor before. Today, we will be putting it to the test. I've not loaded these for accuracy, so we're not expecting crazy accuracy. However, I am expecting to make a lot of noise today. I'm shooting suppressed. I've got both dogs here. Don't worry, we'll put the dogs in the back of the new Isuzu. By the way, thank you Westfall Isuzu for upgrading me to a double cab 3 liter automatic. Much easier with the family in the double cab and it looks rad. We'll do the branding at some point. Right, so our bullet options are Titan 130 grain monolithic already coated with molly. Okay, so that's option one. Option two is 125 grain ballistics bullet. Um, we will be shooting these. As I mentioned, I've not loaded them for accuracy. I've taken 130 grain ELDM load, loaded them to the same length. We're going to be shooting them in the 20 inch Creed more topped off of the Swarovski X5. We're going to have target cams on the paper and on the steel. If this is your first time watching this channel, please do consider subscribing down below. Stick around till after the intro and let's find out do monolithic bullets damage steel targets? Right, okay, first up, Titan, 130 grain. I've put up my camera suspiciously close to where um, this shot's gonna go. I'm very nervous to do this. Oh well, screw it. We'll do it live, as the Legionnaire boys would say. Okay, let's get this X5 all settled in. And we're just gonna do a quick five round group, check our zero, yep, we come down since the last time we shot. Dogs are out the way. Ooh, we got some crazy mirage this morning. Okay, here we go. Okay, I see it. It's not bad for having done zero load development. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, those last two moved quite a bit. It could be this barrel was super, super spotless clean and I didn't use any fowlers at all. Um, so that was pretty, um, the first three are within, I would say, about three quarters of an MOA and then the last two were off to the side. Right, let's try these ballistic, ballistics, 125 grade. Now I loaded the exact same load of powder charge which um, by the way on the 130s was 42.2 grains of Vitavuri N550. Now work up to that. This is just what I loaded for these um, as a safe starting point um, on the 130s. As I knew the 130s shot good in my other rifle. Now I'm gonna have to... Oh, I'm gonna actually choose a different part of the target just not to shoot my um, my tripod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim for the top of the big triangle. I'll put a little index aiming point so you can see where I'm aiming. Lily, you're good, thank you, sweetie pie. Okay, let's go. Boy, nearly drilled out that bit, okay.
that's a pretty crazy group for not having done any load development. Um, let's go check it out. So in terms of accuracy, I think it's important to distinguish here. It's two different bullets. I just chuck them in. Um, so the accuracy from the two, I don't really think we should read anything into that. I think we just got lucky with the ballistics on that it liked exactly where I seeded it with the powder charge. That's just a coincidence. But uh, overall, for shooting a pretty quick group, I'm stoked with how I think this turned out. That Swaro glass is stupid clean. We're just about hitting our target. Let me show you guys the angle <laughs> that I was flying these in from. Please excuse, this is an active farm. So we're shooting from back there. And this is pretty much the angle that I was shooting in to this target, like zipping them right by this cam. And uh, so these were our first three with the Titan. And then the last two came over there. And then that, for a five-shot group, is really not bad for essentially winging it. So anyway, let me stop that camera. We're going to take this camera out and go to our steel and uh, shoot some steel and see what happens. That's why we're here and that's what we want to find out. So what I've done is I've put this plate at 200 meters because that's kind of the closest distance that I'd ever shoot steel with a large rifle. You could shoot it closer, I guess, but I don't see any reason to. So the closest target I've ever had in a match was at 200 meters. So, therefore, we'll be testing it at 200 meters. I've also chosen a pretty big plate. So hopefully we can shoot two different groups on the plate and um, show the difference between the two bullets. I will be risking this DSLR for you guys. So if the screen cracks, or anything like that, I really would appreciate it if you joined my Patreon to help me make videos like this. It is expensive to come out and shoot. Yes, I've got nice gear, but those things are sponsored. It still costs me money to do this, but I have a lot of fun doing it. And if you want to support the cause, please jump on Patreon, link down below. Okay, we're about at the 200 meter target. Whew, I'm out of breath, it's super warm. Okay, let me go down here. Okay, we're at the 200 meter target. I'm gonna press record on this, run back, set up there, take the rifle out the car, and uh, load up the mags, and sling some lead. No pressure. Hopefully this memory card doesn't fill up because that would suck. So this is gonna happen. I'm gonna put these groups on there pretty quickly because we need to come back and stop this camera from recording. Okay, it's rolling. Come, come dog. <whistles> Louis, come Louis. <whistles> let's go fellas, let's go. Oh shit, they're catching me. They're catching. This is like the Blair Witch Project. Come guys, come, go, 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 go. <laughs> I love bringing these guys out to shoot with me. So much fun. And now we'll be shooting groups with that. Should be fun. Okay, let's get set up. Almost back to the truck and I'll see you guys at the rifle. Okay, right. First things first. I'm going to dial a half a mole. Half a mole. This Swarovski is in mole. It's actually in... Whereas a normal scope is 0.1 mole per click, this one is 0.05 mole per click. So it's 1 20th of a mole. And that should get us to the 200 meter plate. I did grab the optic with my dirty hand. Both dogs safe. Let's ring some steel. Okay, I'm gonna try shoot this in sort of the top, the 11 o'clock corner. Um, camera is out the way. Oh dear, I hope this doesn't break the camera. Here we go. Okay, just gonna aim for that dot. I'm not sure exactly why I aimed. I'm just gonna try to put it on that. Okay, aiming for the same dot. 
I don't think I chambered one. Let's go and see if it goes click. I didn't feel resistance. Click. Yep. Yeah, sticky. Come on. Well, so far the steel seems to be in pretty good nick. I stacked those first two. And empty. Right, let's go straight into the ballistics. One, um, yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm going to do the other corner top. Oh wow, the point of impact is significantly different. I wasn't aiming there. Dealing with a little sticky, sticky extraction here. Um, I'll show you guys on the with the target cam where I was actually aiming versus where I was hitting. But we did see that um, on the paper too that we were hitting quite a bit left. So I'm gonna aim for the same spot just to see if we can put a group on the plate. I'm gonna try reference because the plate's obviously white. I'm going to try reference where I was aiming to put two more or four more on that spot. Well, that one actually hit where I was aiming. Okay, so we're obviously not... Uh, uh, oh, wow. That's taking some... Uh, some extra juice! Okay, I'm gonna need to left tap this baby out. Why are you doing that to me? Don't do that. One more. Um, quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't know why some of them are coming out super sticky, but the plate survived. Let's go have a look. Right, so I guess now the biggest question is, do I still have a functioning camera down there? I know the plate survived. Um, I could see that through the optic. By the way, I do put the rifle in the truck when I walk up and down like this. Um, I just shoot pretty fast there because the farm guys were sort of coming in my direction. So I had to finish that string of fire. Um, the ballistics shot a great group. Again, I think we're on a node there just by coincidence. Um, and uh, the others were a little bit all over the place, but I'm gonna do some more load development with that on this rifle, because I'd like to, to shoot those if I can find a good node and support the local bullet manufacturers. Okay, well, the good news is we still have a functioning camera. And uh, this is what we ended up with. So here we have the ballistics, the first five we shot. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you look closely, you'll see they actually make like you can see the copper on there, which is pretty cool. And then these are our other ones. This is sort of where my aiming point was in this region. I think first one, second one, third one, last two hit there. Um, so the steel plate is 100% fine at the back. I think I shot this the other day from another direction, but there's nothing, nothing, nada. So it survived, let's engage. Seeing that we have a few more bullets, why don't we gauge the rest of my target array all the way out to about 500 and 560 yards. So our next target opportunity is 330 yards. That's gonna be 1.53 mil about for me. Let's get rid of these. And uh, no target cam. But wait for cling. Ka cling. That should be a sound we get when we get a text message. Can somebody invent that or set that up for me? But I still see the shots. I was out here shooting yesterday um, and I was putting rounds on this target with the 22 long rifle at 330. Okay, let's send it. A little bit of wind left to right. It's gonna hold middle. No, do you know what? Let's go left edge and see what happens. 
Although we're shooting a little bit left, so I'm gonna aim middle because I should be offset enough. Literally hit on the left edge. Aim right edge. Hey, bonus! Okay, so I guess we're on at 3.30. <laughs> right, let's go straight out to 5.20. That's 5.20 meters. So 3.4. Right, that's it. I'm gonna fill up this mag and just, just burn them. Um, right, the dogs are fine. I love coming out to the range and making empty cases because you know everybody loves reloading. Sounds like a bad TV show. Okay, what is 520 gonna be? I already dialed that. Let me just double check that, not make a noob error here. Yep, 3.4, we're dialed to 3.4. Okay, maybe we'll do like one 400. Or not. What a lux. Oh, the mirage is brutal. Okay, here we go. We've got a tiny gong and a big one. Let's go with the big one. Let's see where it hits and see if we can hit old tiny at the back there. I do not see where I hit that. Oh, I think it's on the bottom right. Okay, remember we're shooting a 125 grain ballistics bullet now, whereas this data I have is in fact for 130 grain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna max magnification and dial some more elevation on. And I think that's gonna do it. Oh, the mirage is so bad. Okay, let's try hit the little one and that should give us an indication. Nothing. Okay, back to the big one and let's go. Kling, 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 kling. How fast do you guys think we can do this? Um, I don't know how many bullets we have, probably about eight. Let's try to do eight in 10 seconds because you know barrel life and, and everything. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. I'm really not seeing where I'm hitting them and I'm waiting so you can hear that. Try finish it off with one of these. <laughs> I think I was hitting them all like sort of top right edge. We can take a drive up there. So a little bit of after the action. Here's the group at 550. This is old ammo. You can definitely see where the coppers were hitting one, two, three, four, five. That was the group I shot at the end there. And interestingly enough, I think this is the first rounds I didn't see these two. Now look at how that washer looks. This is a hardened washer. And on this side is the little target. And here is actually what a normal bullet does to that washer. So this is less damage than this. Interesting. I also picked up this and I never get, I get tiny little scraps like that sometimes here. I've never ever picked up a jacket like this one. So this is a whole bullet. Here's another one right here. Very interesting. There's quite a few over there. And I'm sure if I scratch around here, I'll find more. The, oh, oh, she's a beauty, mate. Wow, how cool. Is that? Oh! <laughs> yeah! 
That's the coolest thing I've ever found. What? Sick. I should weigh this and see how much weight retention we got on this. Okay, I'll put this down in the bottom of the video. Very cool. Right guys, thank you very much for watching. As you've seen, monolithic bullets do not damage your steel targets and they're a ton of fun and actually very accurate without doing any load development. Again, I think we were lucky. Where are you going? Lily says to please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell and share this video with at least five people. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I also want to give away a thousand rand gunsmithing voucher. Ronaldo van Rensburg, you win yourself a thousand rand gunsmithing voucher from Bullet Central Africa. All you had to do was like my post, tag two buddies on Instagram, Instagram username over here. Go follow me, I appreciate that. And it helps me do what we do on this channel. If you like this video, there will be another one like this one on Wednesday next week. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you and we'll see you next week, Wednesday. Bye. Say bye, Lil. Goodbye, people. Subscribe down here. <laughs> okay, we're done, we're done. Give me up. Ah, thank you. Okay, tell up dopis, na? Tell up dopis. Hi, buddy. You also want to say hi to the people? Did you, where did you find water? I'm lying on my gentleman bits at the moment. It's really uncomfortable. But I will show this in the outtake. So wives, if you're still watching, congratulate your husband on being a true fan. One more thing. If you subscribe to my Patreon down below, I will do a backflip off this thing for no reason right now. So link down below, check me out on Patreon. It does help what we do. If I do end up breaking a leg now or an ankle, it's not gonna cover that, so then I need you guys to go to like the top tier. Okay, make some space, make some space. No, 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 no. Why come here, Huh? You okay? Look, imaginary ball, go. Ah. I was gonna give you guys credit for being smart. <laughs> then you threw it away. He's rolling in, literally rolling in some dead animal over there. Okay, here goes nothing i guess whoa crush that baby yeah